in the wild unless you are sitting at the top of the food chain everything is trying to eat you in order to survive you either gotta get fast get hiding or get creative one creature that's developed a shocking but effective defense mechanism is none other than the electric eel able to spontaneously generate high voltage pulses of electricity so, what do you think happens when a vicious predator like the caiman, the Amazon's equivalent of a crocodile, tries to take a bite out of an electric eel? Will it get the shock of its life? Or is it lights out for the cranky caiman? If you ever put 9V battery on your tongue, you will know that electricity tastes terrible. Ah. There's also that unpleasant painful jolt in your mouth, kind of like leaking an electric fence. Now imagine ramping that battery up from 9 volts all the way to 860 volts and you are starting to get an idea just how much biting an electric eel sucks. Growing up to 8 feet long and weighing as much as 44 pounds, you will find electric eels throughout the northeast of South America, including the Amazon and Orinco river basins. They love lurking through slow-moving freshwater creeks and swamps using their secret superpower to stun and kill their diet of fish, shrimp, amphibians, and something even small mammals. The secret to an electric eel's shocking talent lies in three pairs of specialized organs throughout their abdomen. There's the main organ which spans half the dorsal section of the eel hunter's organ, which runs the length of the eel's underbelly and sex organ, which makes up the dorsal part of the eel's tail. These organs contain hundreds of thousands of modified muscle cells, called electrocytes, arranged in perfect rows similar to the cells of a battery. The organization and stacking of these electrocytes allows a current of charged ions to flow through them, building current as it charges up. Electric eels also use the electrocytes in their sex organ to emit a steady stream of weak electric pulses to create a field around themselves. Eels are able to temporarily stun fish in less than 3 one thousand of a second. Once the prey is immobilized, the electric eel can swallow its meal whole. We know electric eels regularly take down small fish, but what about larger animals? Curious? Dogs are no match for the static charge of an electric eel, in fact one shock sends them this German Shepherd whimpering. <laughs> but it's the Amazon Cayman who finds itself often tussling with the electric eel, and it can be a flip of the coin who comes off second best. Sometimes the warning pulses of an electric eel stop the caiman dead in its tracks, the reverous reptile convulsing violently for a few seconds before regaining his composure and making a run for it. Other times, it's not so lucky. If a caiman manages to get a decent bite on the eel as its high voltage shocks are discharged, his jaw clamps shut and the pair are locked in a shocking stalemate every one of the caiman's muscle fibers spasm uncontrollably before the reptile's heart finally gives out. So could an electric eel kill a human being? We have long been testing how powerful an electric eel shock is. And despite being mildly unpleasant in a laboratory setting, there doesn't seem to be much harm to wearing yourself to an electric eel or touching one in a tank while there are reports of people in South America drowning in shallow water after being shocked by an electric eel. Lion shows tourists why you must stay inside your car. During a safari visit, a group of tourists were hanging out of their car at a lion sighting while the lion was lying on the middle of the road. After some time, the lion felt threatened and barked at the tourists. Fortunately, he did not go farther, and the tourists were lucky this time. If he had decided to attack them, the consequences would be serious. Journalist gets mauled by a lion.
British journalist Charles Starmer Smith visited the South African Wildlife Park to play with one-year-old lion Mappingpan, whose name translates to little baby. But while he was rubbing the big cat's stomach, playtime quickly turned vicious when the lion clenched its massive jaws onto the Starmer Smith's leg and clawed at his jumper. Mappingpan's keeper desperately tried to intervene, slapping on the animal and slapping on the nose. The beast momentarily appeared to be calmed down before its visitor attacking again. The next few seconds were a blur of claws, teeth and shouts as I stumbled around, helpless against the power of this animal. Finally, the handler was able to corner the cat in the pen's corner, allowing the journalist to calmly make his escape. He could be seen bleeding from his leg, through his shredded torn pants and required stitches for his relatively minor injuries. Despite this brush with death, Starmer Smith said he did not hold any grudges over the frightening incident. Crocodile attack a lion In the African Kruger National Park, two male lions were feeding on a hippo carcass. One of them got a bit more interested to be in his comfort zone and thus he stepped his foot into the water without realizing there was someone else also feeding the carcass from underneath. And this happened. Lions catch three buffaloes in stampede. This dramatic back and forth action was occurred when a pride of 30 lions targeted a thirsty herd of buffalo. Charging down to drink from the only water source available for many miles. While at the water hole, a dramatic back and forth battle occurred between the lions and buffaloes. The adults were doing their best to rescue the cubs after about 10 minutes at the water hole. The buffaloes ran back up the hillside. As the buffalo ran up the hillside, the two male lions left their initial kills to chase the wounded cubs. The two cubs that had been rescued by the herd were once again the target and the two male lions went in for the kill. This time the adult buffaloes were not able to rescue them. My adrenaline was running and I got quite emotional. But this is nature and it happens every day. It is just extremely rare to get footage of it, says David.